All right. So how are you guys doing? You doing okay? So what do you know about horses? How big are they? They're really big, aren't they? How much do they weigh? Yeah, they weigh a lot. <laughs> a real horse, a full-grown horse can weigh like a thousand pounds. And this is, and they're really tall, you know? That's, that's a full-grown woman standing next to those two horses and they're taller than she is. And, you know, they wear, we have them wear bits and bridles and things like that. And when we train a horse, they can do some pretty good stuff. But before they get trained, real horses are wild, wild horses. They don't like to be ridden or anything like that. And so they will buck and they'll kick and they'll do all kinds of things until they're properly trained. My wife, Shauna, when she was a little girl about your age, maybe a little older than you, Shauna, she got kicked in the teeth by, the, by a little horse and it broke her jaw. And even today, she still has problems with her teeth because of that wild horse that didn't pay attention to where she was. Or maybe she didn't pay attention to where the horse was. I don't know. But the horse bucked and kicked her in the mouth. And I bet that hurt just a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> So the one benefit she had, though, was she did get to drink milkshakes for you know, about a couple of weeks or a month, maybe. But she got tired of milkshakes. Anyway, we can train these wild, crazy horses, and we can train them to be something that's useful and something that's good. And so we do that by one of the things we do is we put what's called a bit. So I have one here. Uh, people from the horse rescue up in uh, Owings uh, Owings gave this, let me borrow this. This is a bit and it's got the bridle and, and all the things that you need to control a horse. Um, our acolyte, Abby, is really good at riding horses and she, know, she could tell you everything. I can't tell you a whole lot about these, but she could probably even tell you how to put one on. But this is a small thing that goes in the horse's mouth and with it, you can actually take that, even you, as small as you are, you can take that thousand pound animal and tell it which way to go, tell it how fast to go, tell it to stop. You could control it with this bit that you put in the, mouth, in the mouth. So horses, when they're trained, can be quite useful. They can be used to haul stuff around and all kind of stuff, but they have to be, be trained. Otherwise, they just get in trouble. Now, when we are reading our, gospel, our letters today, we're going to hear this guy named James. And James talks about this, how horses are, can get kind of out of control until we put this bit in their mouth. And he compares our tongue to a horse. And he says, how big is your tongue? Your tongue's not very big, is it, compared to your whole body? But this little tongue of yours can do some really bad things. It can, it can cause people to be hurt. Have you ever been called a bad name in school or anything like that? Oh, that's good. What if, what if you did? How do you think you'd feel if someone called you a bad name? You'd feel sad. You might even be a little mad. And you might even call that person a bad name back. And then pretty soon, you go from speaking bad words to each other to maybe getting in a fight with them. And pretty soon, all kind of stuff happens. Well, that's what James is saying in our letter, that with this little bitty tongue, our whole bodies can do some terrible things. We could be like a, a big forest fire and burn everything down. But Jesus also tells us that we have a gift of this thing called the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is kind of like this little bit that is inside us. The Spirit can actually train us to follow God's Word. So like we can drive a horse around and tell it to turn left or right or go straight or slow down or go faster with these bit and bridle, the Holy Spirit can help us to train our tongue so that our tongue says the things it's supposed to say so that we can do things like show love with our tongue. How can you show love with your tongue, do you think? Use your tongue to speak, right? Maybe you could say, I love you. Maybe you could say, hey, do you need a little help? And you could show somebody how to do something. 
So you can use your tongue for these good things if you've trained it properly. Our, our Old Testament lesson today talks about uh, how God has taught his son how to speak, but not just how to speak or what to speak, but also how to speak. And that's one of the ways he wants us to, to use our tongue, is to speak words of love to God and to our friends and people around us. We can do that. Follow Jesus' example. Jesus, he died on a cross for us, right? And he did that so that this Holy Spirit would come and dwell with us and be inside us and help us learn how to control our tongues so that we can say the right things, kind of like this bit does. And so what we want to do is ask God to help us learn from that Holy Spirit and follow that Holy Spirit so that we can go to the right or to the left and go where God wants us to go and do what God wants us to do, okay? So let's pray and ask God to help us do that, okay? Repeat after me. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for sending me the Holy Spirit to guide me and lead me, to help me do the things I'm supposed to do and know that when I do wrong, you forgive me. Help me to get back on track and do your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, guys.